The next technique is a setup for triangle from the open guard. The control you're gonna do is double arm control. Single arm control, double arm control. Okay, the way you control, you can control like this, can control like this, can control like this, is up to for your taste. I like this control here with the thumb outside. The next thing is the shin block over here. When I have the shin block, I want to start doing the setup over here. I open space for the foot right here. The one foot is an underhook right under his tricep over here. When you do that, he's very tight, tie your elbows. Here, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try open him. That's the drill. Push him, now I open. When I open here, I'm gonna put my heel right here. That's what come the techniques called kick the horse because you want to stretch your body to come to him. It's a drill who come basically like this. You stretch your hip. You know what I mean? Basically, I like to call that kick the horse, the horse kick. Because you want to do that in these techniques. You want to go to him. You want to throw your hip higher to have a chance to put him inside the circle of the triangle. When you come here, the bottom control, block both arms, he's very tight. Come over here, push, now he's open, shoot. Now I swing head, he's inside the circle, bring him down, for he come closer, for you start adjust a perfect triangle over there. Okay? Sorry, Hush, you okay? Yeah. Okay, one more time from the open guard for the other side. Come here. Let's do here. See, so adjust. Go high. You see how high my hip is? But you don't want to stay high over here because you're weak. You want to bring him close because now you can reach the head. You can adjust the arm. Fight for the hook and go for the triangle. Okay, one more time. Okay, open space, he's tight, open, inside the circle, bring him down, adjust, come here, finish. Okay, the, another way to do that, when he stand up, stand up, Roger, he's fighting over here to pass my guard. When he fight over here, I can use the same basic idea, lower and higher, what happened, I use the foot inside and break the grip. You see, bring him this like closer to me. His upper body have to come this deep angle here. Example, he's too back over here. It's hard for me to do that. What happened? I use the hook and the foot to bring him close. I swear I come here, I come for the same setup. You see how high I go? Now I'm reaching him over here. This technique, because he's so high, I can go for armbar right there. Because his arms are already so straight, why I go for triangle? Go for the armbar, it's right here. But right now we're talking about triangle. Right over there, adjust, fight for the jerk lock, and finish over there. One more time, Harry. Oh, bring him close, see? Go right there, adjust the triangle, go for the finish. Always fight for just the triangle. I know sometimes, in some case, the guy's so big, that's okay, but keep tight. You see, I don't have the full triangle, but I have the half triangle and squeeze it tight as possible, because that's what's gonna keep the pressure on the neck. Okay, one more time, Roger. He's over here. You see, I fight with the foot. Okay, keep over here. You see, I use the foot on the hip. Go for the, arm, the triangle over there. He's low. Go inside the shin, over here, he's over here, open, shoot, go for the triangle. Let's do a quick review about cup another triangle. You can add that a, a, a mix of setups, okay, like this one I like, the wrist. Here you go for triangle. Come back. This one. 
goes for turn in. Or the next one, see why I'm control. Come over here. Okay, it's very important to try mix everything. Is because the setup, what's very important for you surprise your opening. In case you have just one setup, sometimes you see that. But when you have many different setups, that what's getting confused for him to defend. Because you try different ways all the time. Same submission. Let's go for the next submission in triangle choke. 